My name is Paige Stoyer. I'm a photographer. I started out as a journalist, as a writer, and I realized I really wanted to be a visual storyteller. I was living in Rwanda teaching a photography class to girls there, and uh, I met Christy Hegrenes, who's the founder of the Global Press Institute. GPI was founded on Christy's premise that people who live in these local communities can do a much better job telling their stories than outsiders can. And at the time that she founded it, she was a foreign correspondent. She was working in Nepal. And she realized that there's so many obstacles to Westerners, to foreigners coming in and telling stories that it would be so much better to have these authentic stories coming from people who lived in these communities. The content that's coming out of GPI is, is really unique because um, not only when they tell a story do they have better access to sources, do they speak the same language, but they know about stories that someone coming in for a week is never going to know about. A lot of these countries and communities, the only stories that are told are the war, or the famine, the, you know, but these are vibrant communities that have all these different aspects and reporters are able to tell all of those parts of it. Well, when I met Christy, I, I was really blown away by what GPI was doing, and I asked her about what they did for photography, and she kind of paused and said, well, that's kind of our weak link right now, because their work's getting picked up now by BBC, NPR, Huffington Post. They needed original photography. So I said, well, I, ha I have an idea. What if I started going to your desks and taking cameras and bringing them photojournalism training? The training so far, I've done the photojournalism training in Rwanda, Nepal, Haiti, I just got back from Cameroon, and next week we're headed to Sri Lanka. And I have sent other photographers to do the trainings in Kashmir and Argentina. And that was an important part for me. I realized in the beginning, to get to all 25 news desks, I would want to partner with other women photographers. People ask Christy why women, and they think it's, this is like a women's organization. And it really isn't. It didn't start out, her goal was not just to employ women reporters. But it's just worked out that it's been the best model. You have women telling stories. Again, traditionally, not only are they not usually locally told, they're usually told by men when they are locally told. So we're getting voices that we don't usually get. Like when I just finished this training in Cameroon, one of the reporters said, I thought only men could be photographers. And I was like, no, no. <laughs> so it's so exciting to see this light go on when they realize I can be a photographer. I can be a visual storyteller. They're really bright, driven women and they appreciate everything you do. I mean, I, I get hugs, I get tears when I leave. Thank you for the camera, thank you. When I get home, I get notes from them. Hi Paige, how are your kids? Love you. I, it's just, it's rewarding on so many levels. And I get to share my love of photography. Like I see their faces light up when I show them pictures and they're like, oh, I wanna make pictures like that. I get asked everywhere I go, this is, this is fabulous, how can I help, how can I get involved? Right now around photography, we have the Kickstarter campaign, so people can go on through the end of June and donate specifically to help us bring cameras and bring training to the women at our news desks. And there's also, if you go on the Global Press website, there's also ways to donate to Global Press. One of the things I'm hoping is that not only will people get involved to donate money, but they'll become avid GPI readers because the content that we're creating is really unique. Like I said, it's available now. BBC picks up a lot of our stories, NPR. So I encourage you go to the GPI website. You can donate there, but also see some really amazing content and hopefully soon more and more really amazing photographs as well.